the hearing today will be very closely scrutinized, and I think the reaction among Ivorians will depend very much on which side they were on during the actual conflict. For Watra supporters, the trial of Laurent Gbagbo is seen as an essential step in the justice process and in the more general process of moving on from the conflict. Gbagbo supporters, meanwhile, tend to fall into one of two camps. There's a hardline faction that to this day maintains that Gbagbo won the election in 2010. They see the trial as yet another example of foreign intervention on Watra's behalf and at Gbagbo's expense. Uh, but there's also a more moderate element of Gbagbo supporters who are upset not so much by the fact that Gbagbo's on trial, but by the fact that up until now it's only been Gbagbo supporters who have been investigated and arrested and charged for these post-election violence crimes. Still a considerable amount of tension involving that more hardline faction of Gbagbo supporters that I mentioned. Just this past Saturday here in Abidjan, we had a demonstration organized by the youth wing of Bagba's political party that was ultimately dispersed by security forces using tear gas, which obviously doesn't help when it comes to calming things down. Uh, but among the more moderate elements of Bagba supporters, I think that there is a desire to get on board with national reconciliation, provided they think that Watra's government is acting in good faith. And so I think that's why we've seen so much pressure on Watra to initiate a justice process that is impartial and that allows for prosecutions of his own military supporters.